believe 82% of employers conduct virtual interviews? Our digital presence is becoming more and more important with the growing digital age. Let's explore our digital presence into three sections. The space around you, mm -hmm. the impression we leave the camera, and the technology we are using. Lori, what's some tips you have for the space? So when you think about your space, you're really thinking about your surrounding, your background. You want to make sure that you're in a quiet space, no noises, and you know, be careful. We just had a cat come in and interview this week. You know, make sure animals can't come in, dogs won't be barking. If there's children at home, hopefully you have a babysitter or a way that they will not be distracting while you're on. Uh, your interview and then also think about the space behind you a plain wall is fine you don't have to have it super decorated I will take a plain wall over too much clutter you know or think about a professional background as in an office um, just make sure again it's, it's something that's presentable and then also think about uh, your lighting your lighting really should be careful don't have light behind you it can actually make you look very dark and hard to really see your facial expressions on the interview preferably have that light in front of you ideally and it could be natural light or something like a ring light that you can pick up for fairly cheap on Amazon occasionally even on the side uh, of you is, is fine as well but making sure that that lighting presence is, is there for you so what about your, the impression you leave the camera now this one is the one we're gonna want to practice the most Thinking about making sure you have good eye contact. You are trying to connect with someone virtually through a system and that's sometimes challenging to do. So as I'm looking at the camera hole right now, um, I'm looking at you and hopefully that looks like I'm talking to you directly even though we're not together. And then if you're not looking at the camera, if you're looking down, I can't connect with you as much. If you're looking over here, maybe at the computer screen here, but the camera's over here, that's gonna look very elusive to the interviewer and you have a hard time connecting so just really think about that eye contact also making sure that you are smiling during the interview and you're engaged just as if you were there in person and then lastly is making sure you're still dressing to impress dress appropriately as if you were going to be there for an on-site interview but you just happen to be virtual lastly what about the technology we're using a couple things we see now is individuals not quite understanding their internet bandwidth to handle videos and that can really be a distraction on the interview if your internet keeps going in and out so make sure you have strong bandwidth that you can handle the, the virtual interviews and if you're going on teams or zoom think about going on about five minutes ahead of time just to make sure everything is set also look at your settings for your speakers and your microphone if you're using multiple technologies such as a camera, a webcam, and a laptop, and a monitor. Make sure you know where that microphone and that speaker is coming through and that you're having a smooth interview. Kind of a last big tip of the day is thinking about if you're taking an interview in your car. If you're in the car, it's common and it's very appropriate right now. We know people are working and sometimes that's the only way to kind of escape for an interview. Make sure that your phone is steady on something and that you're not trying to hold it and also make sure that it is at eye contact and not below you. For sure. That's great advice and recommendations towards improving our digital presence. For more tips and tricks, like and follow on Ag Hires.